My name is Q Manning. I am the creative director here at Epiction. If you get your application developed on one platform, uh, the question is how difficult is it to then take it to other platforms? Uh, a, it kind of depends on the platform itself. Uh, the iPhone and the Android markets in particular are very, very different as far as the code base goes. Uh, iPhone stuff is done in Objective-C, Android stuff is done in Java. So initially all programming will have to be redone but the initial wireframing may not have to be restarted. The biggest issue, however, is that each individual platform has its own paradigms as far as user interface goes, as far as what people expect, as far as scrolling. So case in point, uh, on the iPhone, a lot of people are used to the concept of you swipe right, and then a button pops up, you hit delete, an item's gone. On the Android, it's much different. You tap, you hold, a little pop-up shows up, and then you can choose if you want to edit it or if you want to delete it. Uh, iPhone applications, uh, if you know an iPhone only has one button on it, on the actual face, it's right there in the center, takes you home. Android buttons have menu, they have back, they have a lot of other options. So when we develop an iPhone application, we have to work into the actual interface at the top left where Apple wants all these things to go. It's a back button so that you can go backwards as you're moving through the application. When we now take it over to Android, we can remove that back button because there's an actual back button on the interface of the phone itself. Um, so a lot of that's going to require us to go back in, look at it, say, okay, what do we need to do to localize it for this platform specifically? Uh, how much time that takes kind of depends on the application. Obviously, the larger the application is, the more time it takes. Um, if we create a lot of custom design work, then it's a matter of saying, okay, we aren't really using the paradigms of the iPhone necessarily anyway, so we may not have to use the paradigms of the Android. However, if we are doing very iPhone-specific functionality, when we get to the Android, we'll have to retool that and now make it all Android functionality. When it comes to BlackBerry or Palm, pretty much the same concept. Each has its own design paradigms, each has its own interface concepts. Each one has to be redone for that specific platform. How much time it takes just depends on how big the application is.